Good day to all of you. This is still your friend, your nurse, your teacher, Oli Mochamiri Inyong. And now, I'm going to challenge myself not to speak other languages, only English and Arabic because I'm going to teach you Arabic, um, Arabic, Arabic language. Yeah, we are now going to use the Arabic course book. This is from Medina, Dabu Salam. Uh -huh. this, this is what we call Dulu Suluga. And uh, the result of the book is divided into three books. I bought all of it and now Yeah, we're going to learn it and at the same time I just want to remind you that we are not yet going to learn the Khabar and the Mubtada because that will be in book too because this book is just like what I've said It is divided into three books the one two and three and this number one and This one is more on Kalimat or more on words that we are going to learn uh, Before we are going to go into deeper uh, lesson So yes, join me learning this Language. Hey guys, this is the first page of the book, the Darsul Awal or the lesson one. We are going to talk about the Hada. This is Hada means all about, I mean, that means to something that is near you. For example, this first picture has a Baitun. And this is a house. Hada Masjidun, this is a masjid. Hada Babun, this is a door. Hada kitabun. This is a book. So when we are talking about kitabun, it should not, it shouldn't be kitabun. It should be kitabun because there is a mad here, the alif mad. So there should be harakat. When we are talking about harakat, it is this. A, what you call this one haircut or a second to slow it something like that for example this one had a kitabun not kitabun had a kitabun so the next picture is had a kolemun this is a pen had a miftahun so when we are talking about there is also haircut here uh, after the oh no horrible tap so there should be haracat here had a miftahun not miftahun had a miftahun so this is a key the next picture is had a maktabun so uh, this is a table had a serirun so there is a ya here that is also a mad ya mad so you are not going to uh, pronounce it or yeah pronounce it but it should be this is a bed so this is a chair so just like what I told you before guys uh, this book is not for those people who cannot this, this book is for those introduction who can already, who can already uh, read Arabic so yeah, it's more on kalimas or words that you are going to memorize. It is about mahada. What is this? So you are going to ask, you will be going to ask a question. For example, this one, it read like this mahada. So uh, what is this? Hada baitun, this is a house. Hada baitun? Naam, hada baitun. Is this a house? Then the answer should be Naam Hada Baitun. Yes, this is house. So mind you guys, Mahada and Hada Baitun is also the same question. It just happened that Mahada means in English, what is this? Well Hada Baitun So that is the difference between the two sentences. Now going through or going to the next picture is Mahada Hada Kamisun. So what is this? This is Kamisun or shirt. So the next picture is a hada sarirun is this a this a bed so you will going to answer la hada kursiyun no this is a kursiyun or a chair so which mean when we are talking about la it's a negative or a no and naam means yes okay the next picture would uh, the question will be a hada miftahun uh, is this a key? So the answer la hada kolemun. 
No, this is a pen. And then the next picture, ha, ma hada? What is this? Hada Najimun. This is star. Okay, guys, the next page is about tambourine. When we are talking about tambourine, this is exercise. So the teacher will going to ask the student and you most probably will going to answer back the correct answer so for example this one mahada what is this so you will going to answer hada mithahun so the next picture is mahada what is this hada kitabun mahada hada qalamun mahada hada babun mahada hada baytun mahada hada kursiyun so in English, what is this? This is a key. This is kitabun or this is a book. Mahada hada olemun. This is a pen. Mahada hada babun or this is a door. Mahada hada baitun or this is a bite or a house rather. Mahada hada um kursiyun or a chair. So tambri number two or exercise number two, a hada baitun. Is this a is this a a house no so you will going to answer the teacher la hadha masjidun this is masjid a hadha miftahun is this a key so you're going to answer la this is kalamun hadha kalamun or a pen a hadha is this a shirt then you will going to answer it naam hadha kalmisun yes this is a shirt a hadha najimun is this a star? Then, yeah, positive. You are going to answer it positive. Naam, hada nechimun. So this is a star. Okay, tamrin, the tamrin talatha or the exercise number three, ikta waktub. So you are going to read and as well as to write it. Hada mektabun. This is a table had a masjidun this is a masjid had a kolemun this is a pen had a serirun this is a bed ma hadha what is this had a kursiyun this is a chair a had a baitun is this a house la had a masjidun no this is masjid ma hadha what is this had a miftahun so this is a key so that is so you are going to read at the same time you are going to write it so to, fam to familiarize the the words or the arabic words you are going to write it uh i mean more effective so the next lesson is man hada so when we are talking about man this is pertaining to a person for example man hada who is this so when we are when you are going to answer the telephone if someone will going to call you to call you on telephone you are going to um probably ask him or ask who is this so you will going to say it in arabic manhada so the first picture manhada sorry the manhada who is this hada tabibun this is a doctor or tabib Man hada, who is this? Hada waladum. This is a boy. Man hada, who is this? Hada alibun. This is a student. A hada waladun. Is this a boy? La hada rajulun. This is a man. So continue to the next page. Ma hada, what is this? Hada masjidun. This is a masjid. Man hada, who is this? Hada tajirun, this is a businessman. And then hada kalbun, so this is a dog. A hada kalbun, is this a dog? La hada kittun, no, this is a cat. Hada himarun, this is a donkey. A hada himarun, is this a donkey? La hada hisanun. Wama hada and what is this? Hada jamalun. This is a camel. So the end page of the lesson one is this one. So we will begin. Ha ma hada. What is this? Hada dikun. This is a rooster. Ha man hada. Who is this? Hada mudarrisun. Hada or this is the teacher. 
هذا القميص is this a shirt لا هذا منديل this is a handkerchief so mind you guys that there is no such handkerchief here in Saudi Arabia maybe there is but I wasn't able to uh, look or find something mindil because they the mindil they oh, no. pertain it to tissue here uh, it's I, I'm having a hard time to look for it here I tried to but yeah I can't find it so yeah the next tambri you know the next exercise is crap work tube read and you will going to write it so that you will be going to write it so that you will going to you will be going to you know to be more effective reading it or memorizing those kalimats so the number one ma hadha hadha kalamun what is this this is a pen hadha kalbun this is a dog man hadha hadha tabibun uh, who is this? Hada Tabibun. This is a doctor. Hada Jamalun. This is a camel. Hada Kalbun. Is this a dog? La Hada Kutun. No, this is a cat. Hada Dikun. Is this a rooster? Naam. Yes. And then the next one. Hada Hisanun. Is this a horse? La Hada Himarun. No, this is donkey. Hada min deal. This is a tissue. Oh no, this is a handkerchief. Hada waladun. Is this a boy? Naam. Yes. Man hada. Who is this? Hada rajulun. This is the man. So that is the end of our lesson one. So yes. So there you have it, guys. We already learned the level one, or should we say the lesson one here in this book. So yes, this is the way that I challenge myself. I mean, speaking English is really hard for me because in the first place, I'm not that really fluent in English, and at the same time, I have so many errors in my grammar. As a matter of fact, some of my friends who really, uh, you know, always correct me. Uh, I accept this. Uh, and learn from it inshallah and yes um i just want to make shout out to my friends who always give advice to what to do on my videos like for example annie castillo um who else arvin uh josh and then uh aj of course is the one who is always saying what to do not to do and yeah uh, to all of you guys who, you know, say something about me, yeah, yeah, just subscribe. Uh, so, oh, no. we're going to learn the lesson to next video. No, I don't know, but yeah, it's how we're going. So, yeah, there you have it, guys. Good day to all of you, this is Oli Majomiri Inyong saying please subscribe to my YouTube channel Oli Marie and like my Facebook page Nurse and Teacher and please like my videos, share it please. This is Oli Majomiri Inyong, your friend, your teacher, your nurse saying goodbye, bye bye.